This is a 1967 Lamborghini Miura. This is absolutely beautiful. I never liked classic cars as a kid, but you know, seeing it now, I really love it. So let's have a closer look at it. I love how it has eyelashes, and these are the headlights. Now they can you know pop up a little bit at an angle for so that you can see the road better. And uh, here on the nose, you have this air vent here. So it's I'm guessing it's designed to let the air out that goes in through the nose. And here you have a very big 3D sort of logo. Uh, for today's engineers, they'll say that it's uh, causing drag, but Lamborghini did, don't really care about that. So let's have a look at the front end a little better. So you have this big open area, air intake, that I'm sure you know feeds directly to that vent that we saw earlier. Let's have a look at those wheels. Those are nice. And look at how big that nut is. And it has you know handles so that you can pretty much turn it by hand. You don't really need a wrench or anything for this. <laughs> anyway, let's have a look here. You have the side skirt. If, uh, and here you have another vent here inside. Then you have the rear wheel. Of course, the rear wheel is a little wider. Then you have the Burton logo because Burton was responsible for designing the exterior of the car. So thanks to them, this is how you know we have the Mura. You have an air vent here next to the doors that feeds air directly here. Then look at this. Uh, you have basically the engine bay cover and that is very similar to the one we have on one of the models of the Lamborghini Diablos. I believe the SE30 Jota. And let's have a look at the rear end. It's pretty simple. Nothing too fancy. And But there is a, one detail that I really like. So I'll just get a little closer to show it to you. Okay, the tail lights are fine. They're okay. The Lamborghini logo is a very different font than we are used to. So this car is here at Q Motors or Alcala Motors for short. And uh, yeah, I mean, Q Motors is the short form. Anyway, this grill here, this is one of my favorite parts because it has a hexagonal design. And if you look at the Veneno, the Centenario and the uh, Cyan, you'll find hexagonal designs everywhere. So that has been carried out through all those years. And uh, then you have, of course, the engine bay design that you find on the Lamborghini Diablo as well. This is the Mura logo. It's uh, it's nice. It has kind of a devilish look to it with horns and a tail. And yeah, it's a nice touch. But I love the color. I mean, look at it. It's so beautiful. So the Mura has a very rich history. It's the first supercar. It's the first rear mid-engine supercar. No other car before it had an engine in the back the way this car did. So the first time the Mura was sh shown to the world, it was shown as a chassis and an engine. So the engine is, you know, a V4 liter V12. So they place it sideways to have better weight distribution. You have some modern Lamborghinis here just so that we can compare how Lamborghini designs have changed over the years. Let's have a look at the interior. It's a uh, full leather, dark brown leather and light brown leather. It's, it's a nice combination, the caramel and chocolate uh, type of uh, interior. So it reminds me a little bit of the interior of the Espada. And uh, yeah, I hope I get a chance to sit in it. So uh, I visit a lot of showrooms like this and uh, I've seen a lot of cars in my time. I've made a lot of videos as well. So have a look at my channel. You'll find classic cars, modern supercars, hypercars, luxury cars, SUVs, trucks, bikes. I have videos of this uh, Pagani Huera, that other uh, Bugatti Chiron there on my channel. So do have a look. I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. And f one more thing about the Mura is uh, what I read about it is when they first showed the uh, design, basically it was finished just a few days before, uh, you know, the motor show where it was supposed to be shown in to the public for the first time. It didn't have an engine because Lamborghini didn't know how to fit the engine into the body. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, their way of doing things is very different. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, I'll be very, very grateful and have a look at my channel as well.